Hey guys, today I thought I would share with you my April favorites. Now, throughout the month, I have been trying some new skincare products, some new beauty products, and I thought that I would share with you just some things that are new to me this month. So, without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing that I would like to talk about is if you have watched my Lush haul video, you will know that I've gotten a sample of the Mask of Magnamity. Now, when I first tried this, I will not lie, I gagged because of the scent of it. There's just something unpleasant about the way it smells to me, but I've gotten used to it since then, and I can honestly say that this is my favorite mask I have ever used for my face. I don't know what it quite is about it, but it absorbs the oil on my skin without dehydrating my skin, and so pimples, anything that I have going on, they become Im not immediately diminished, but by the next day, they're very dry. And not in a painful way, it just, it like, detoxifies your skin, and it's just amazing. What I usually do is I will take this mask, as you can see, I've gotten pretty deep in it. I usually wear this mask when I'm taking a bath, and like, before I wash my face like if I'm wearing makeup that day if I've had a long day or if I'm just stressed or if I'm breaking out a little bit I will take a bath and I will put this on my face and sit with it on my face for about 15 minutes now I'm the kind of person that when I'm trying a, a mask or if I have a mask on I will leave it on for as long as I physically can I just feel like the longer it's on the better it's going to work I don't know if that's true or not it's probably not but that's what I do. So I leave this on for about like 10 to 15 minutes and then in the bath I'll wash it off. Exfoliate super gently and I just love it. I am definitely getting a full size of this thing because it is a skin mask that has totally changed my point of view when it comes to skin masks because usually in, for my skin I will try a new skin mask and then it doesn't have any effect. Like that night it'll be soft but the next day and every day from then it really won't have a lasting effect. This thing right here has a lasting effect for my skin and I've used it like four times and I love this thing. I really do. So that's definitely an April favorite for me. Now if you've seen my foundation video, how I do my everyday foundation, I use a product called M Might Makeup Diamond Heart Base Primer. Now what this is, is a transparent, now it looks like it's flesh tone, but it's not. It's a transparent primer. And it has the tiniest chunks of glitter in it, and it just, it moisturizes your skin, it smooths your skin out. I usually put this under the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I love this product, and this is a sample size, and I think, if I remember correctly, the full size of this is like somewhere between $20 and $30, and I am not somebody who likes spending a lot of money on makeup, but I'm getting the full size of this baby because it is fantastic. I love the way it feels, I love the way it makes my makeup look. The glitter, it doesn't shine through the foundation or anything like that, but it just helps to give you this nice youthful glow. It's very very beautiful. I love this primer. I've been using it every day for this whole month. I just love everything about it. So a while ago in a beauty box I had received a eye base by a brand called Be A Bombshell Cosmetics. It looks like this. Now the eye base is called Submissive and I've had this in my eyeshadow collection for a very long time and I just never tried it, but I've always, always, always looked at it and wanted to try it. So one day I decided, you know what, I'm going to give it a try. And I love this thing. The color is unbelievable. It's one of those eye bases that has like a, a metallic hint to it. So it's this right here. And it looks like this in the pot, but... It is amazing. It goes on so smooth. Sometimes eye bases, for me, tend to be a little oily and they don't actually, they, they crease. They crease for me. This product does not crease for me whatsoever. Here, this is the information. 
right there. It does not crease for me. It holds the pigment so well. And it's really, really good for more red-based eyeshadows, like what I tend to wear. It is fantastic. I love this eye base. I wear it, at this point, I wear it nine, nine out of the ten times that I'll wear eyeshadow. That's my base. And I just feel like even though it has this kind of pigment in it, it doesn't, unless you're wearing a eyeshadow that complements this color, it won't shine through. I've put blue over this eye base. I've done all of that. And it works and it holds the color. It doesn't crease and it makes it last all day long. So I highly recommend that for anybody out there who has oily skin like I do. Now, for this April Favorites video, this is my last beauty favorite. It is a lipstick that I recently bought and I'm wearing it today. Day. It is Revlon's Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. Now, I forget what this color is called. I believe it's Devotion. For some reason, the color, they don't have it anywhere on this, and I took the little, like, barcode off and it had it on there, but I'm pretty sure, I'm like 99% sure it's Devotion. This is so nice and matte and creamy. I'll put more on right now. <laughs> you can see it's creamy but matte at the same time, and it is just fantastic this color is beautiful they have they have a good amount of colors I mean this I think this is um relatively new still I'm definitely going to get more colors from this line I think it costs seven and a half dollars which for lipstick nowadays isn't really that bad it lasts a ridiculously long time it's matte it goes on, it's smooth, and it doesn't dry like usual liquid lipsticks dry. I wouldn't consider it a liquid lipstick. I consider it like the texture of a matte lip cream. I really, really love this. I wish I could have included this in my must-have lipsticks for spring and summer, but I couldn't. But I'm including it in my April favorites because this color and this brand and this formula and everything about it is amazing. I know that they have reds and like a few a few darker colors and I haven't tried those yet. So I cannot say whether or not they're opaque or if they last well. I don't know that. But I know that the lighter colors like these are fantastic. Now, I said that was the last beauty related thing, but it's kind of not. It's the last makeup related thing. So the real last beauty product is a nail product. That I have been using all month long and it is called Simply Peel. Now what it is is a liquid latex barrier. Now I'm allergic to latex so I kind of suffer through it with this thing. What it is is it's like a nail polish. What you do is you paint it around your nail like that and what happens and I'll show you once it dries it will dry clear and when you paint your nails any polish that gets on the latex so any polish that goes around your actual nail it will go on this latex barrier and then magically you will peel it off and all of the nail polish that is on that liquid barrier will come off with it so your nails are clean and beautiful i've been using this like non-stop whole month so i really really love it as you can see it's starting to dry what you would do it's not all the way dry so bear with me but i just want to show you so i can move on what you do is you peel it like that i know it looks gross it kind of looks like you're peeling your skin off but it's gross and you just do that just like that and you're good to go okay four more things in april i was looking for a new wallet now for a very long time i didn't drive and i didn't really have credit cards or any kind of card i only had a paypal card but life has changed and i've started driving i have my license and i have a few credit cards and you know like my insurance cards and stuff and i needed a wallet that was going to hold all of my things so i found this wallet on Kohl's and I will link it below. It's on sale right now at the time of this video. It's on sale for $25 so you can go check it out if you need one. I love this wallet. Now I have my information in here so you're gonna have to ignore that but this is my um, health cards and this is my driver's license so you have these and then you have this like accordion folder and what's awesome about it is it's labeled so it's coupons then you have receipts then you have cash plus the little coin bag right in the middle and then this is where the cards are held I think I can show you this because yeah it has all of like the cards here and on the other side like that 
And what's great is this right here. It means that anybody who's next to you can't scan through to get your card information, which I know is a, a thing a lot of people do to steal your identity. But I will tell you, it is awesome. It comes in a few different colors that are actually like really cute. So if you need a new wallet, it's on sale. I usually spend like $7 on wallets, but this was like my first real adult wallet. And if you hear that sound in the background, it's my cat being a menace, kicking things around on the floor. I apologize, but he's cute, so I'll let him do it. Only two more products. <laughs> so I tried my first Open Glory product and it had microbeads, so I wasn't pleased and I stopped using it immediately. I'm not a microbeads kind of gal. I have anxiety, so it freaks me out to think of like little plastic beads on me. I don't know why. I know it's not good for the environment, so I just stopped using it. However, I did purchase after that. I thought, well, I'd like to actually try the brand without having this product, so... I picked up the Smoothie Star Soap and Glory Deep Moisture Body Milk. This is a lotion. It smells like... It's locked. It smells like oatmeal, and it's so moisturizing. It's not thick at all. It just rubs right on, and it holds its scent for a very long time, and it's... It's really awesome to put on before bed or after a bath or just any time that you feel dry and scaly and, and you want something that's not going to make you sticky and it's not going to take three hours to dry. This is definitely something that you might like to try out. The smell is awesome. It smells like oatmeal. Like I said, it has almond, cocoa, yogurt, oat, and honey in it. It describes the scent as almonds, oats, and brown sugar right here it really really moisturizes and for somebody with dry skin it'll make you feel good the final favorite that i have this month is a book that i've been reading i had gone to used bookstore a long time ago and i've had this book for a while now my, one of my favorite authors is bram stoker i had found this book at the used bookstore and i thought i've never actually heard of this book I need to read it and I can honestly say that whenever I pick it up I just get transported into the story and it is called The Jewel of Seven Stars. It looks like this. I just love this story. It's about an archaeologist who doesn't wake up one morning and he has scratches all over him and, and so the story is of his daughter and some cops trying to figure out what is happening to him. It's about ancient Egypt and curses, you know, like the mummy's curse and all this stuff, and it's actually really, really interesting. Kind of like an otherworldly type of a, a theme in this story, and I love it. If you liked Dracula, as you can see there, check this out. I've never heard of it before, before I bought it, and I have been loving this book. So, that's all I have today. I know it isn't too much, but I kind of got started doing these videos in the middle of April, so I didn't have much time to plan. But now that I am doing this, next month I will have plenty of more favorites to share with you guys. But right now, that's all I have. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And uh, thank you for all your support. And um, all your comments are so awesome. So I hope you guys are having a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.